Y'all, I just filmed for the past, carry the one, two hours of me just trying on clothes. <laughs> Hello beautiful people, it is Mad. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new. This video is inspired by a couple that I saw on YouTube. Of course, I gotta give the creds to Ashley from Best Dress. She is an incredible, inspiring content creator. I also watched Marla Catherine's version of this, so shout out to her. But today I'm gonna be showing you guys 10 things to wear when you have nothing to wear or when you feel like you're bored of your clothes. And I know we're in quarantine right now, so you can't really wear your outfits out anywhere, but I did think that this was kind of a fun way to get us prepped and ready for when we can enter the world again. So I wanted to do this also to show myself that there's so much versatility in the clothing that I already have and there's literally no point of me going out and buying a ton of stuff for no reason because I have so many cool outfits. If you're kind of going through the same thing where you're like bored of your clothes and you kind of want new clothes but you don't want to spend the money, I'm going to show you some ways to kind of revamp the clothes you already have or give you new styling tips and tricks. Let's get into it. I'm going to show you some outfits. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Thank Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much and let's just get started. I don't know what that was, but let's just get started. Okay guys, so for this first outfit, I'm starting with something super basic and I mean like denim shorts and a cropped sweater. But the nice thing about this sweater is that it actually has a collar. So I'm gonna teach you guys some cool layering techniques with this look to turn it, you know, a little less basic. I'm gonna be taking a oversized t-shirt that I thrifted that has like very similar colors to the long sleeve and I'm just gonna kind of pop the collar out and have the baggy sleeves hanging out of the shirt um, I really like the oversized vibe of this unfortunately I hate shorts so I probably won't be wearing this but you know it's a cool technique for you guys and I'm pairing it with some warm toned Air Force ones you can never go wrong with these and some just like higher socks This is not my favorite look, like for me personally, but I feel like, you know, good little tips for you guys. So that's outfit number one. This one is kind of for those awkward like college merch pieces that you want to wear but don't know how to make them look cute which i feel like i have a ton of these so i'm going to be taking these plaid pants and pairing them with the like oversized crew neck type of vibe um and then i'm just gonna cuff the bottoms because that's apparently a thing that i do a lot in this video and i'm just gonna put on some black nike socks i like to match the socks with the color of the top and then I'm adding some white Air Force Ones just to kind of bring out the white in the crew neck. It just kind of all goes together. Now this is pretty simple, but you know, it's better than your average sweatpants and crew neck look. But I also have this knot wrap from Lush that also matches the blue in my crew neck. So I'm gonna put this on my little bald head because I can't do anything with my hair, so it's fun to kind of spice it up with some cool head wraps, hats, things like that. But that always adds a fun and fresh flair to your look. Here's me being really awkward. Okay, outfit number three. This one is just kind of starting with a black monochrome fit, black turtleneck with some black pants. I'm gonna be taking this lazy oaf dress and really spicing it up. Now you're probably thinking, girl, a dress with pants? No. We are tucking <laughs> the dress into the pants to make it look like a shirt. So we're kind of just revamping this whole dress. I don't really wear it enough. So if I wear it as a shirt, I feel like it could be really cute. And I put a belt over, so it kind of smoothed out the lumpy edges. I definitely could have done a better job with this. If I was actually wearing it out, I would do a better job with tucking it in. And I added my Doc Martens 1461s, kept the black socks, which kind of looks tacky, but whatever. Here's the look. I think it's my favorite one in the video, honestly. It's really cute and cool way to spice up your dress. So this one is just a basic black turtleneck with a plaid wrap skirt. Pretty plain, pretty basic, would not wear this on its own, but I did some more layering stuff. I added these really cool socks that have some pineapples on them, kind of matches the yellow in the skirt. And then I layered on a white t-shirt. 
And of course, you know, you gotta throw a denim jacket on everything to make it look good and make it look like you tried. And some white Air Force Ones. I don't love wearing skirts, but when I dress them down like this, I feel like I'm so comfortable wearing them and they don't feel as like girly. That's just not my vibe. But yeah, that is look number four. So this one, once again, starts with the basic black turtleneck and gray mom jeans. Probably can't get more basic than this, honestly. I'm actually going to be layering this cute light pink velvet tank top over top of the turtleneck. Tank tops are a great piece for layering. You can literally put them over anything, which is really cool. I'm adding a statement jacket. This one's from Lazy Oaf, but I thrifted it on Depop. So it's just like really bold, really fun. And I like the velvet in the tank top mixed with the denim pink jacket. I added a grommet belt and these really fun Doc Martin chrome 1461s that are actually for sale on my Depop, so go check them out. But I thought that those were like a fun way to incorporate like a bold shoe, but you can really wear anything that you want with this look. Here's a really basic outfit, black turtleneck with black biker shorts. Can you tell like you need a black turtleneck in your life? But I'm gonna put on my Nike socks. I'm gonna put these guys on. These are Jordan 1s. They have different laces, like different colored laces in them to kind of switch it up and add some versatility. And then I'm layering a huge oversized t-shirt over that, pairing it with a little bag that I thrifted because your girl does not have the coin. Let's go out and buy a Gucci bag. This one was 99 cents at the Salvation Army. But yeah, this is just like simple pieces put together into a nice like streetwear vibe. Notice that the sun is just gradually going down in all of these clips in the background, kind of funny. Okay, so now we're starting with something that everyone has in their closet, black dickies. If you're a skater girl, you have black dickies. Kind of just put on this crop top that I thrifted from Brandy Melville and layered a flannel that had some matching colors in it as well as a denim jacket. And I'm pairing that with my white Jadens just to kind of, I don't know, break up the dark colors of the outfit. The white shoes are everything. You can also pair this with Air Force Ones, but just super cute, super skater girl vibes. I love this. So here's another plain outfit. We have just a yellow long sleeve and some denim, but these are really cool ones from Ragged Priest. They have like cut out knees and zippers. And then I have these Fenty Puma creepers that match the color of the shirt. So I like to do some little color matching moments. And then I threw this really cool cropped tee over top. I actually got this at the thrift store, but I'm pretty sure you could just DIY something like it. It had these strings running through it. It's just a super cool top, and I like that all the colors vibe together. This outfit, girl, this one is rough. I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know in the comments. We're starting off with some basic sweats and a t-shirt. This is my Mac Miller outfit. I love Mac Miller, if y'all didn't know. I'm tucking the t-shirt in, cuffing the sweatpants, throwing on some Air Force Ones to kind of match the white in the top. So then I threw on this black long blazer jacket, very New York-esque, you know the kind. Like this is just a New York City, I'm late, I'm a model off duty with the baseball cap, absolutely girl. I love this kind of fit for those like lazy days, but it still looks really put together. And the baseball hat is also Mac Miller, so this is just a big Mac Miller emo vibe. Okay, this one's really fun. This is another Mac Miller hoodie that I stole from my boyfriend. I layered that over the top of the black turtleneck. And these are some jeans that I literally thrifted and painted on. And then I paired that with some platform naked wolf trainers. I just literally painted with acrylic paint on these, added some cool rips and safety pins. I also have a cherry bag that matches it. So it, it's such a vibe, such a vibe. I love this fit, super comfy, love it. 